Good morning students, Saira, welcome back to the computer session. We will continue introduction to QBC part 3. So, what is QBC? What is the full form of QBC? The QBC stands for Quick Beginners All Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. So, every programming language consists of some basic elements which are required to make a program. So, the element required to construct a QBasic program is consist of set of characters, constants, variables, keywords, operators and expression. So, what are the elements? So, element the, the elements used in the QBasic are character set, constants, variables, operators and operands, expression, keywords and statements. In that, in the last session, we have discussed what is constant and character set of QBC. So, character set is a set of symbols which are used in programming language, right. The basic uses the different symbols or you can say character set such as A to Z, capital A to Z, small A to Z, right or you can say numbers 0 to 9 and some special character like hash, either rate, dollar, percentage, right. So, so these are all datas, right. So, data means it can be number, symbol, name, anything, but data can be categorized into two types, right. We have learned what is constant and the two types of constants. So, what is con constant? The constant means what? It is a fixed value, right. Constant are the fixed value, the value which does not change during the execution of the program is called constant. In that we have learned a numeric constant and string constant. So, in this session, we will learn our next elements like variables and operators. So, now what is variables? Okay. So, all of you know for the constant, we have taken some example, right. What are the example of a constant? That is a fixed value, the value which does not change during the execution of the program. For example, you can see number of days in a week, okay, it is always be 7. So, sun rises in which direction? That is always east, right? That is a fixed, okay? Number of hours in a day, that is a 24. That is a fixed, that is constant, okay? So, now, what is variable? So, the variable is a location in memory to which any value can be assigned it. It continues to hold the value until another value assigned to it, okay? So, for example, you can say your height, weight, they keep on changing, right? For, or you can say price of vegetables, right? It will change, okay? Keep change, they keep on changing depends upon some condition, right? So, these are called variables, okay? That means during the execution of the program, we cannot change the data, right? So, that is what? constant, but here in the variable, the during the execution of the program, we can change the data. So, that is variables. So, variable is a location and me memory and which any value can be assigned, okay. It continues to hold the value until another value is assigned to it, right children? Yes. Now, in that, what are the different types of variable and the variables, numeric variables and alphanumeric or you can say string variables. So, alphanumeric, numeric variable, it should not contain space or symbols like question mark, forward slash, backslash, colon, semicolon, okay. In numeric variable should not contain any space, okay or symbols, okay. So, underscore can be used instead of space. When I am assi assigning 
a okay a 6 a 6 then you can don't give the space you can use a underscore for example can you see a c a 2 a b c okay and you can see a underscore 6 why because the space is not allowed while declaring the variable okay space is numeric variable the space is not allowed in the q basic so you have to use if you want to give a space you have to use a underscore so a underscore 6 so this okay this is the right way to declare the variable okay so represent these are all representing what numeric variables the same thing the next one alphanumeric or string variable the second one is alphanumeric or string variable a string variable is represented by an alphabets the string means what alphabets followed by the dollar sign okay you want to assign okay the string variable that means you have to write a dollar sign okay it can contains letters digits underscore sim symbol and the la and always the last character is always a dollar sign for example a1 a1 if you are if you have written a1 that is a variable so that is what numeric variables but if you have written a1 dollar that means what alphanumeric or string variable so rk1 dollar can you see here in the last the dollar sign is there that means it is what you can identify that is what alphanumeric or you can say a string variable okay so valid string variable these are all rk1 dollar computer 1 dollar these are all valid string variable a string variables can store a string constant yes children understood now what is the difference between now constant and variable so while doing a program we will assign a constant variables also and we will use a variables also understood now okay so okay now we will learn a uh, operators okay so what is operators okay the computer performs many arithmetic operators and calculations with the help of arithmetic operators right that is a mathematic operators all of you know plus minus into these are all arithmetic operators so we, in this session we will learn arithmetic operators and the relational operators okay we, now can you see here so a 1 dollar is equal to I have written a kips in a double quotes okay the last class we have learned a string constant so whatever the word you will put, put it in a double quotes that is known as string constant here in this program I have assigned a 1 dollar that is means a 1 dollar is there that means that is string variable and the kips right these are the words i have put it in the double quotes so that is what string constant right whatever whichever word whichever number word if you put it in a double quotes so it will be treated as a string constant right in the last class we have already learned string there is a different types of constant right children okay. now okay arithmetic operators okay so the computer performs many arithmetic operators and calculation with the help of arithmetic of operators right so the operator the operator is a symbol okay which perform arithmetic and logical operations so the operator is what a sim symbol for example you can take a plus b okay so a plus b so here this is an expression isn't it a plus b here the plus is what operator the plus is operator and here a and b a and b are operand right children so a and b are operand so which we perform operation is called operand right children yes now a plus is operator right okay so now here in the operator the first one is plus the plus sign the plus operator right to add two or more numbers 
for example, a plus b. Okay, can you see the here the a's value the assigned is 8 and the b's value is 4. That means a plus b that means the result is 8 plus 4 is 12. Same thing you can see that down subtract. So, minus is not it. So, a minus b the subtract operator is used to subtract 2 or more numbers. So, a minus b that means the a's value we have declared as a 8 and the b's value is 4 that means 8 minus 4 that means the result is 4. Same thing in the multiplication we are using here a strict sign right you are using in the mathematical symbol is cross into sign that is a cross sign right. Here we are using a strict sign. So, a strict sign to multiply 2 or more numbers. So, a into b that means a's value is how much? 8 and the b's value is 4 that means 8 4's are 32 the result is 32. Same thing slash can you see the slash here forward, forward slash we are using as a divide sign. Can you see the fourth one that is a divide sign to divide 2 or more numbers we are using the divide sign. So, a's value is 8 and the b's value is again 4. So, result is 2 right. Now, the last one to calculate exponential value. So, can you see that caret sign exponential value? So, a, exp a exponential 3 that means a raised to 3 right. So, a's value is how much? 8 it is much a 8 into 8 into 8. So, a raised to 3. So, the answer is 5 1 2. So, why we are learning this in the in, when you are doing the programs we will use all the operators yes children. So, that time we will use the plus minus into divide and exponential operators yes children. So, so we are discussing these elements of q in q basic. So, why we are learning this element we can use these elements to do q basic programs yes children. The next one now relational operators ok. So, what is relational operator? They are used to compare the given numbers ok. You want to compare the numbers ok you are giving a relational operators. So, that operators which tells us the relation between two operands ok. So, relation it tells the what relation between two operands you can see less than greater than equal to sign right not equal to sign these are all what relational operators ok. So, it tells the relational operator two operands always is written true or false ok. So, let us see with the help of this example the first operator is equal to sign right this is the operator ok. So, they are used to compare two values using of the given relational operator from the relational expression. So, equal to sign. So, this operator is used to check the equally between two operands ok. So, now suppose here for a is equal to 10 right and the b is equal to 8. So, a equal to b is it true? No, the a's value is 10 and the b's value is 8. So, result is what? False. Is it is it equal to? No, right because the both the values are different. So, the result is what? For, false. Then the second one you can say. So, this operator checks the non-equality between two operators. Okay, can you see here less than and greater than both the signs are there right. So, that is what checks the non-equality between two operands here a is operand and the b is operand a's value is 10 and the b's value is 8. So, is it what it is a non-equality between yes the both the values are yes different. So, the statement what the result is true ok. The same thing you can check the first here the third one greater than this operates checks whether the first value is greater than the second value. The first value is greater than than the second value. The a's value is 10 it is greater the b's value is 8. 
so less right the statement is what the result is what true because the a's a's value is greater than b's value right the same thing you can see the less than so this operator checks whether the first value is less than the second value a's value is how much now 10 and the b's value is a sorry a's a is a's value is 10 and the b's value is 8 the statement is what okay so the statement is false all right the same thing now next this operator okay so you can see greater than and equal to sign so this operator checks whether the first value is greater than or equal to the second value okay the first value is how much 10 and the second value is 8 a is 10 a's value is 10 and the b's value is 8 now it will check the condition yes so a's value is what yes here it what it will check it will check the first value is greater than yes the first value is greater than yes the 10 is greater or equal to the second value uh, yes so the statement is what true okay so the same thing again the last one so this less than or equal to this operator checks whether the first value is less than or equal to the second value okay so the first here can first value is less than or equal to the second value the first value is what not less than it is a greater than b right so the statement is false so these are all when you are doing the q basic program you we will use the less than greater than equal to sign okay and different relational operators okay so in this we will stop this session and the next session we will learn so one one more operators and we will learn some q basic statements with the help of q basic software sairam